Boris Johnson is facing the most serious rebellion of his leadership with senior Tories refusing to backing down on their opposition to his Brexit legislation despite his warning Brussels could carve up our country without it. The Prime Minister's bid to win support for the bill that overrides parts of his own divorce deal was joined by Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove warning it is needed to protect the integrity of the UK. They argued the legislation that could breach international law and has prompted the EU to threaten legal action during trade negotiations is needed to prevent a trade border in the Irish Sea. But Tory rebels suggested that opinions had been hardened by Mr Johnson's conference call with backbenchers and believed support was growing for their amendment to the UK Internal Market Bill. Tobias Elwood, the Conservative who chairs the Commons Defence Committee, said on Saturday that an amended I cannot support this bill. He said, already this bill is damaging brand UK, diminishing our role model status as defender of global standards. As we go to the wire, let's see more British statecraft, less Nixonian madman theory, Commons Justice Committee Chairman Sir Bob Neill, who has tabled an amendment which he said would impose a parliamentary lock on any changes to the withdrawal agreement, said he still contends it contains objectionable elements. He said Mr Johnson's speech had not at all changed his mind, and said the hard language from both sides of the negotiations only strengthened the case for his opposing legislation. Damien Green, who was Theresa May's deputy when she was Prime Minister and is backing the amendment, was also understood to not have been won over by Mr Johnson's argument. Veteran Tory MP Sir Roger Gale urged Mr Johnson to kill the bill and start again. The Prime Minister said failure to implement the bill would allow Brussels to carve up our country and seriously endanger peace and stability in Northern Ireland. Writing in the Telegraph, Mr Johnson claimed the bloc would to impose a full-scale trade border down the Irish Sea which could stop the transport of food from Britain to Northern Ireland. He added, I have to say that we never seriously believed that the EU would be willing to use a treaty, negotiated in good faith, to blockade one part of the UK, to cut it off. Or that they would actually threaten to destroy the economic and territorial integrity of the UK negotiators led by David Frost had learned there may be a serious misunderstanding about the terms of the deal Mr Johnson signed in October. Mr Johnson claimed the withdrawal agreement had been agreed during torrid days with the Brexit deadline fast approaching while negotiating with one hand tied behind our back as a result of Parliament blocking a no deal. He added, if we fail to pass this bill or if we weaken its protections, then we will in fact reduce the chances of getting that Canada-style deal.